Hello beautiful people, today we're gonna solve the problem house robber so let's get started by reading the problem you are a professional robber planning to rob house along the street each house has a certain amount of money stashed the only constraint stopping you from robbing each of them is that adjacent houses have security system connected and it will automatically contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into on the same night so the given an integer array nums representing the amount of money of each house return the maximum amount of money you can rob tonight without alerting the police first this problem is a dynamic programming problem okay so we're gonna try to break it into sub problems and try to solve the sub problems the first sub problem gonna be when there is one house to rob so mean the input list gonna have only one value which the money inside this house so we return it the second sub problem gonna be where there is two house to rob so means the input list gonna have two values so we return the max value of this two means the house that have the maximum amount of money and also because the conditions say we can't rob two adjacent house so what if we have more than two adjacent house means three or four or five first we will try to comprehend how to address this problem utilizing dynamic programming the robber has two options we can rob the current house which it's is gonna, gonna be start at three at the first iteration if this is true we're gonna rob the current house and houses before the previous house means e minus two the other condition is gonna be we can't rob the current house so we're gonna rob the previous house mean e minus one the calculation gonna be robbery of the current house plus the money from houses before the previous and for the second condition gonna be the money from the previous house robbery and, and any money captured before that for example let's say we have a three adjacent houses we're gonna start at the current house the third house and because we cannot rob the adjacent house we're gonna rob the house before the previous house and sum up them after that we're gonna compare the total money to the previous this house the bigger one gonna be the one that we're gonna rob So the first way to solve this problem is going to be by creating an array or list that at the beginning is going to have the first number of the list and the second number is going to be the max of the first number and the second number of the input string. After that, we're going to iterate over the string starting at the third number of the input list. We're going to do the calculation that I have explained before, the current house plus the house before the current house and compare it to the previous number of the new array and compare it to the previous number of the new array. The max Next one gonna be added to the new list and we continue repeating the same technique until we reach the end of the input list after that we return the last number inside the new list by popping it For the time complexity, it's gonna be all of n because we are iterating throughout the list. And for the space complexity, it's gonna be all of n because we are creating a new array. For the second solution, we're gonna reduce the space complexity. So first, we're gonna tackle some basic cases. If the length of the list is zero, print zero. If the length of the list is one, print the first element. If the length of the array is two, print a maximum of the two numbers. 
So we're going to initialize two variables, money one and money two. Money one going to be the list, first index of the list, and money two going to be the maximum of the number one of, in the list and number two in the list, on the input list. I declare a variable called max money to store the result. So we're going to start by traversing the list from the third number element at the two index to the end of the array. For every index update, the max money as the maximum of value plus the current number and value two. This step defines the two cases. If an element is selected, then the previous element cannot be selected. And if an element is not selected, then the previous element can be selected. For every index, update money one to equal to money two, and money two gonna be equal to the max money. And we keep iterating throughout the list until the end. After that, we're gonna return the max money result. and that's it if you find this video helpful make sure you subscribe like and comment thank you for watching